Hello there. This video is going to answer a very common Seagate hard drive question. The question is, my Seagate drive spins nicely, but not detectable from any computer or any external enclosure. No clicking sound or any other noises. No burn mark on the PCB board. What happened? And what can I do? Before answering the question, let us do a basic analysis on the hard drive. Then we can figure out what the problem is and how to fix the problem. We start from the PCB board. One PCB board has two functions. One, drive the motor on the hard drive to spin through the motor contacts. Two, access the disk through the actuator contacts like the picture shows. If the hard drive spins well, that means the PCB board motor driving function is good. If the hard drive cannot be detected by any computer, that means either the PCB board actuator control function failed or the disk is damaged. If the PCB board is bad, we can repair or swap the PCB board to rescue the hard drive. Now, how to swap the PCB board? If the disks are damaged, then we have to do the data recovery from the damaged disks. We are going to continue to talk about them in the rest of this video. Swapping the hardware PCB board includes two parts. One, find the correct donor board. Two, PCB board firmware transfer. How to find the donor PCB board? We use the hard drive model number and the PCB board number as reference to search for the correct donor PCB board. Locate the model number of the hard drive. All the Seagate hard drive model numbers start from ST. Locate the model number of the hard drive. All the Seagate hard drive model numbers start from ST. This picture shows where to find the PCB board number on the PCB board. Different hard drives, different PCB boards, the PCB board's locations are different. If you cannot find the location of your hard drive PCB board number, you may go to hdd-parts.com, input the model number of the hard drive, and then take a look at the picture the picture will show you the PCB board number, the location. You may go to www.hdd-parts.com in the search box, input the board number, and then click on Go. The correct donor board is found. PCB board from a transfer PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from the original board to the donor board. What is the PCB board firmware and why do we have to transfer the firmware before swapping the PCB board? 1. One hard drive PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Two. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. 3. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original, even it is bad, board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We want to mention three things regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer. 1. PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. Hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware it nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. 2. We can do the PCB board from a transfer from the physically damaged PCB board. 
like burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. 3. We do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated how the PCB board firmware transfer works. On the left hand side is the burned PCB board. On the right hand side is a good donor PCB board. We transfer the firmware from the bad original PCB board to the good donor PCB board. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board bias, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB boards BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB boards BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware, we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of these kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. If swapping the PCB board cannot fix the drive, that means the disk assembly got problem. If the data is important, then the disk data recovery service is needed. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.